Hi everyone. Happy Wednesday. Woo! It's now December 13th. Wow. I feel like I had to get that in there. Dylan is pumped up. Yeah, I am. Kind of woke me the up week. there a little oh, bit. It's your Friday, so. Well, oh, yeah, it is. Is it your Friday? It is. I'm off the rest of the yeah, week. So I guess you yeah, can. Ah, nice. It's yeah. warranted. Yeah, it is. There you go. It's been a, it's been a crazy week. <laughs> you haven't seen me in the past week on WDAY. You just must not be watching because I've been everywhere. Yeah. But we're here. We're at the end. Okay, go on. Light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> All right, well, of oh, course, just want to remind you, we're live on Facebook every weekday morning. Uh, you can watch it on your feed anytime throughout the day. We make mm -hmm. it into a podcast when we're done. Uh, go to inform.com slash podcast. Look for the Inform Minute. You can also find us on our Inform YouTube channel. And, of course, the easiest way, live on WDAY. Five to seven for first news, but who knows what time know. Dylan is going to be uh, <laughs> Sometimes forecasting I don't know. the weather. It's all over the place. <laughs> could be any time <laughs> really of the day. So, but, uh, okay. Okay. The forecast is staying the same, though, really, no matter what time you're watching the forecast. Yeah. Uh, warm day today, warm day tomorrow, warm day, warm days for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. um, did have one modification of the forecast. Could see some snow, light snow showers and rain showers Friday night into Saturday morning. Um, not looking like it's going to be a lot of accumulating snow or wind like this past one, but it could cause for some slippery roads. So that's the one thing we're watching into Saturday morning, but it's not going to be... a big system mm -hmm. at all it's okay. a little that wave. was like okay we both worked last saturday yes. it wasn't a lot of snow but right. you're right huge mess yeah yeah this one's not looking to bring as much wind though so that's okay. the big thing too and um, if it starts as rain it's probably not going to have as much snow to blow around and that rain will compact the snow that's already on the okay. ground so mm -hmm. that can't really blow okay so uh, it's not looking like major impacts right now um but there could be a few going into Saturday morning. The forecast hit the ground. So yeah, the forecast is gone. It's gone. It's, it's, gone. Gone. it's all now. off the top of the head. It is. Correct. <laughs> oh, man. But this time of year, these temperatures, you've been saying it, really above average, like yep. 20 degrees or something. Average or so. high is 25 degrees. Yesterday, we actually didn't hit that. We got about 23 in Fargo. So we are actually below average yesterday. Oh. But when we're hitting the 40s, we're 15 degrees above average. Wow. Records this time of year are generally low 50s. Mm. So we're not quite record high. But we're pretty close. close. <laughs> and, and is it's, that in part because of a lack of snow yep. on the ground? Yep. When no snow on the ground, uh, that's much easier for the sun to okay. warm up the earth mm -hmm. due to albedo. So All right. if you have that snow on the ground, the sun's energy reflects off that snow back into the atmosphere. Whereas you don't have that snow, you don't have that reflectance. Mm. So it kind of stay, the heat stays down here, which is what you want, right? It, yeah, well, I guess it depends on who you are. Depends who you are. It's very yeah. true, yes, yes. And, and potential, like, it's way out there. It's past your 10-day, but there is a potential for maybe a little light snow in, like, Yeah, we could see a... It, right before Christmas. It's way out there. Uh, Christmas is two week or a week from Monday, so we're at, what is that, 11 or 12 days from today? Don't ask me about the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 12 days. You're right, we had this conversation. That's, right. That's not until the 25th, so... Okay. So, 12 days till Christmas, and... There are some models showing where we could see some snow by Christmas, but right now that's 12 days away. And there's a reason we only have a 10 day forecast. And even can, the end of a 10 correct. day is. Yeah, we only give you accuracy pretty much, you know, with between seven to eight days. Nine and 10 are kind of already shooting a half court shot, <laughs> let alone days 11 and 12. Well, that's a long ways out. So we'll see, but there are some signals where we could see a little bit of snow closer to Christmas. It's not anything promised. We're just kind of watching it right now. All right. So. Okay. Sounds good? Yep. Thanks, Thanks Dylan. Dylan. You betcha. Okay, well, big story today. Today the funeral will be held for the Mercy County, Mercer County Sheriff's Deputy who was killed in the line of duty. Deputy Paul Martin's funeral will be held at 1 this afternoon at the Beulah, Beulah High School. Uh, we are going to be live streaming that service on our website. You can find it at inforum.com. Martin was an 18-year veteran with the Mercer County Sheriff's Office. Of course, we've been tracking this story for you. The North Dakota Highway Patrol says Martin was killed last Wednesday when he was trying to stop a chase involving Ian Kramer, the son of Senator Kevin Kramer. Uh, this morning, a federal fugitive is waking up in a North Dakota jail uh, accused of murder and being involved in organized crime in El Paso. He was arrested last night in Grafton. Right now, we're working to learn when he's going to be extradited back to Texas for his crimes that he faces charges for. Uh, local police teamed up with U.S. Marshals Service and the High Plains Fugitive Task Force. Uh, they found Davis at a home in Grafton where he lived um, and then brought him into custody. Uh, the Federal Railroad Administration has announced $8.2 billion will be used for 10 passenger rail projects across the country, and they include routes in both North Dakota and Minnesota. They would connect places like Portland and Seattle to Chicago, cutting through both North Dakota and Minnesota to do so. Uh, stops would be made in places like 
Minot, Fargo, St. Paul. Other stops that have been discussed right now in North Dakota include Jamestown, Valley City, and Mandan. Mandan. Uh, for a full breakdown of the project, you can check out this article on inform.com. A new four-level, $43 million parking ramp is going up at Hector International Airport here in Fargo. If you ever go to the airport, you know parking oh, is a struggle. It so is. It's kind of a mess here, yeah, <laughs> it, for sure. It, uh, it's something that's, of course, needed. Big project. It's going to include almost 1,000 stalls and then a skyway that connects to the terminal. Uh, construction is set to begin in April. It'll take over a little bit of a year to build. Uh, and, of course, that's part of the ongoing larger construction that's all going on at the airport. Hot Mike with the Dom Izzo today. Dom's tackling one of those sports stories that's also seems like a news story. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about this a lot this morning as well. Uh, the Bison players, some Bison players, have now thrown their support to Tyler Roll, who of course is the offensive coordinator for the mm -hmm. Bison football team. Will he be the next head coach? Yeah. We're, we talked like, you know, question right now. on Monday, like it could be any day now that yeah. they're going to make the announcement. So a very timely uh, topic. Plus signing day, uh, just a week away now, we're going to meet one of North Dakota's top players who just made up his mind. Hot Mike with Dom Izzo, live every weekday morning, 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra and Inform.com. And listen up for this. The best holiday sale of the year is here for a limited time. 50% off annual news subscriptions at Inform.com. Um, slash gift you can go there find this deal uh 50 off unlimited access to local news all of our content on inform.com it's definitely worth it if you want to get a gift for yourself or give a subscription to someone else perfect time of the year to do that so uh, take advantage of this deal i know we always tell you about deals but this one is really good really so good deal. take advantage if you can all right, our next newscast coming up at 11 this morning, an hour-long newscast. And we have you covered this afternoon, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And, of course, we'll be back tomorrow morning for more first news from 5 to 7. Yeah, join us then. Until then, have a great day.